I like cars, you like cars, Ethan pretends to like cars. Uh, I'm stuck. Anyway, because of this, we know what makes a car cool. But are we missing out on cars that are actually gems just because they're ugly? So today, we've set ourselves the challenge of buying the ugliest car for sale for £1,500. So Ethan, what is the ugliest car? Any BMW. Get out of here. <laughs> You need your head examined. All right, you give me one. Nissan S Cargo. What, the snail? Uh, yeah, maybe even the ugliest thing. Is that, is that? An extra from the Hills of Ice? Yes, it is. <laughs> I just don't understand how a car could be so tall and so short all at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah. PT Cruiser. Hot Rod. Do not say that about that car. So we need to pick a car which is inherently ugly. Okay. Or the flip side of it is someone's got a car which you could probably tolerate and just made it uglier. And we also need to watch out for the trap of cars that are so strange and ugly that they're all of a sudden cool yeah. and they have a redeeming yeah. factor. Like the Renault Aventine. Very strange. Pillarless sides. It's like a long Megane. So you take Auto Trader, you know it very well. I'm well versed. Do you know what, I'm going to start on eBay. Yeah, there's some nutcases on eBay. I reckon there's one or two sellers from cars. I think this is going to be easy. I don't think this is going to be easy at all. I think it's going to be really hard. We need something where the majority of you guys can agree with us that it's an ugly car. Okay, so some cars that we could potentially look at. How about a Ford Scorpio? Because that, that is a bottom feeder. It's an ugly car. That is sucking ass deep in the ocean somewhere. Can I say that? <laughs> that thing looks like prey. Its eyes are so far apart. <laughs> Scorpio, bad, bad star sign, right? My mum's a Scorpio. Yeah, she's such hard work. <laughs> I think this is cool. Some people might think it's ugly. Ford Orion. I think you're just going to fall into the trap of mundane. I can see what's going to happen here. Vauxhall Corsa. We need to approach this from a different angle because you think that a PT Cruiser is good looking and a Vauxhall Corsa is ugly. What would you buy as your like dream car? What is going on here? Well, I have a Jazz. Honda Jazz is objectively a good car, isn't it? Really, when you think about it. Good for what? Good for not driving? Good for making a cat out of. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh. 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 What have you got? That. Oh, I can't even look at it. What is wrong with you? That is horrible. What is ugly? You in the mirror. How about Hyundai? Coupe Mark 1. You know what I'm talking about. I actually think I know what you're talking about. Oh my God. This is horrid. A Fiat Cubo. Do your best Fiat Cubo impression. Mm. <laughs> I might give him a ring. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, have you got the um, Fiat Cubo still? Uh, yes, yeah, it's still available. Is that, um, is, can you tell me the condition it's in? Is it drive right, stop right? Uh, yeah, there's a nice bit of I'll get back to you if we're, we're able to come down. Yeah, that's a... Okay. All right, cheers to that, mate. Bye bye. I, I forgot to ask about price. That was the one reason I was ringing. I feel like you're not in love with this as much as I'm in love with this. I'm just bored by it. I've gone on to Gumtree because I feel like there's definitely going to be some ugly cars there. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that Gumtree's full of trash. Sorry, Gumtree. If you ever want to sponsor us, give us a shout, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll be right yeah, on Yeah, they'll be bang on it now. <laughs> Suzuki Swift. They're pretty grim, aren't they? They're horrible. Yeah. Pretty unplayable, so. <laughs> ben, who's behind the camera, has one of them. Yeah. Oh, you had one. It's broken down, right? Yeah, yeah. Not as ugly, though, as uh, an Oxford Green E46 M3. Oh, ridiculous car. Who would buy that? Hey, Edwin. You want to buy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chevrolet Matiz. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between a Chevrolet Matiz and a Deu Matiz? They sound very different when you say them. Yeah, okay, yeah. I haven't found anything yet. I'm actually finding this really hard. I have. Cubo. Oh, how about Smart for two? Ugly for one. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nissan El Grand. It's a prize winning Is that a like, people carrier? Yeah, you get a lot of dumb people in this car. <laughs> this is one prizes though, so that means that people have thought it's cool. 24 grand for a S15. Oh yeah, that grim. Blech. Can go. Can do. Prettier than a Cubo, one might argue. Though. Yeah. Am I going on about this Cubo too much? You really are. Yeah. I found the Smart for two, but this one is not owning it. That looks like a pair of 80s ski boots. It does. <gasps> this might be it. Ethan, look at this. It's got eyelids. This could be the perfect blend of the base been considered unattractive and what someone's done to this made it worse being an acquired taste i'm not gonna say that but oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. sorry yeah acquired taste yeah i'm gonna call this one right now i can't stop staring at it i have morbid curiosity i've got questions i've got some serious questions <laughs> hello 
Hello, mate. Um, so you've got a for sale. I was just wondering if it's still available. Yeah, it's still available. Okay, nice. Um, uh, it, does it stop all right, go all right? Is there anything wrong with it apart from the way that it looks? <laughs> no, no, it drives well. It's a, good, it's a good bit of kit. It's a good motor. Maybe we'll probably get to you in about an hour's time. So, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Sounds good to you. All right, excellent. Nice one. Cheers, thank you. Right, take it easy. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Right, let's go look at this thing. But before we crack on, it's time for this week's sponsor. And it's not just any sponsor. No, it's the sponsor. It's Raid Shadow Legends. Have you got a phone? Go for Jack. Well, it's time you got yourselves Raid Shadow Legends, the completely free hit hero collection RPG game played by over 80 million people around the world. Let's talk champions. Raid has nearly 700 of them. It's even got Ronda Rousey in it. And she's in Fast and Furious. See, keeping us about cars, guys. Raid recently added the Sylvan Watchers. No, not Sylvia, <coughs> Sylvan. This faction are in tune with nature in a cool and unique way. Like you when you reinstall your catalytic converter to pass inspection. Two of our favorites being these units right here. It's time to vote on your favorite starter champion. Just download Raid, enter your player ID at championselect.polarium.com and then vote for your chosen champion. This vote runs until February 10th, with all eligible entrants winning amazing prizes. Click the link in the description, or scan the QR code to get unique bonuses worth $35. That's almost two entire MX-5s. We're talking a free epic champion, Jotun. Who doesn't love a Jotun, am I right, guys? 100k silver, 50 gems, and not one, but two epic skill tones. Man, I wish I had that many tones. Available for the next 30 days for new players only. You want to be getting on that soon. Thanks, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. And here it is. I'm equal parts happy and sad. Well, what are you happy about? We found a not great looking <laughs> car. And I'm sad that we found the car. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've accidentally, instead of buying the ugliest car, bought the saddest car. This thing looks yeah. miserable. This looks like Noddy's car got addicted to meth. <laughs> it looks worse in real life as it well. It does look worse in real life. It's a lot browner in real it life is. Than, it, yeah. than the pictures it's suggested. Trickier. What's good about this colour scheme though is like the beetle a little bit looks like if you ask the child's magician to make you a car out of balloons. <laughs> And I think this really shows it off quite well. It's like a weird squash TT, isn't it? What's really interesting is this isn't a wrap or anything. I don't think it's from Factory. And someone's painted this, someone's had this painted. Jesus. Maybe 15, 20 years ago, this would have looked cool, but it really hasn't aged well. Wait, what, is, what is that? Come on. Is there the engine in there or is that the boot? Uh, yeah, in the new ones, it's in the front. The, the wheels are interesting though, because if you look, Someone's painted in the oh. inside. It's done with a brush by looks of it. Hello. Limited edition, because there's only one like this, man. Mold in there? Yeah, it's a bit moldy. There's some mold uh, in places. I don't think it's been driven a lot recently for fear that someone might see you in it. Wasn't there a spoiler there in the Oh yeah, ad? no, there's a spoiler. Yeah, in the ad there's a spoiler. But in the car is the spoiler now. They took it off to, ah, to clean okay, it. Okay. Tow bar as well is like the easiest way to make the rear end of any car ugly. Can you guys imagine like an F40 with a tow bar? It ruins it, doesn't it, really? As practical as it is. Oh, it stinks. Does it? Oh, it's so wet in there. It might be damp in there because of the fact that it's got masking tape covering a five centimetre hole. That, where the, where might, the spoiler yeah. should be. Yeah. I will say this about it, though. The colour scheme, I think, if that on its own, that's fine. Yeah. The eyelids, if it was just the eyelids on its own, that's fine. Yeah. The new Beetle, in general, I don't think it's that bad. But it's when you tie all these bits together. Trifecta. Yeah, simpatico. Yeah. Do you have a look inside? more than anything in the world. It's quite spacious, isn't it? All that, that feels quite roomy. Yeah, windscreens in a different postcode. <laughs> a good car for like men in Venn, do you know what I mean? Yeah, true. Imagine all the empty takeaway boxes and shit you could have uh, there. Yeah. There you go, there's a badge. That's a badge, just in case you forget. Well, mate, he's popped it off somewhere, isn't he? He's been like, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put that inside. I know exactly where I'm gonna put that. Do your window up. Do my window up? Yeah. Is that it? Does it go up further? It should do. Can you stop messing about? Oh! Help it. There oh. you go. Oh, there you go. It's just an engineer. It's tight, isn't it? Is that paint? Uh, it's either that or black bin liner stuck to it, I reckon. I thought it was duct tape. I like the carbon fibre on the 
tops of the door cards as well. That is particularly horrible. Because there's no line there that they've cut it to. They've literally <laughs> just stuck it on top. The finish around the door lock nubbin. That is an argument for measure twice cut ones. Can we offer it up? Yeah, go offer it up. Come on, take that with you. Right. Okay, yeah, okay. Now we're oh my, we've messed up. That's completed the look. Now it looks, <sighs> now it looks good. Now it looks too good. Now, it, now it looks too good. Can't get it. <laughs> Listen to that purr. She's saying something. Please take me. Kill me. <laughs> End this suffering. Whoa. Whoa. Oh God, that's nice and warm actually. My hands are freezing. And that is about as good as this engine's any use for. Two litre, didn't know that. Yeah, two yeah. litre, all right. Okay. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay. A little bit of performance I'm up starting to, I'm starting to fizz a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I don't want to look at it, but I want to be in it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of her. Like my that's ex. That's she said something. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. Something insert grotesque thing here. Make, yeah. make ha, ha, like look that. Uh, funny. How about I turn it off and you do a little milk test? Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. So much shit. That just looks like ass. That means head gasket's gone. No, it doesn't mean that. Not necessarily. Oh. The guy who sent it said that the previous owner was an old lady. She's done lots of short journeys in it, and that will happen if you don't get up to temp, give it a good run. You knew that though, you didn't know. I did, I did. Yeah, yeah. But the milkman has found some milk. That's interesting. New alternator. It does look fresh, actually. Yeah. yeah. This what thing had probably given up at <laughs> one point, given up on life. That thing's glinting at me. I'm like a magpie right now looking at that thing. What do you think? Should we go? I think this is a tough challenge. I think buying an ugly car is very subjective and they're uh, very hard to look for. At first, I was like, ah, oh, I'm not sure. But now, just look at it. Just, just look at it. What, what's it up for? 14, up, uh, 14 50? Yeah, it's way, it's way too much. I think we're gonna have to get some off because there is moist back there. Yeah, it's moist back there. And She's also, got a moist ass. I don't think there's a whole queue of people wanting to buy this thing, so maybe. I'll, 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 start, start, a, I'll have start a word, a, I'll have a word. Start at one. He's gonna say no. 100 pound. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a word. All right, all right. So there we go, we bought it. We are the proud owners. Proud, proud's the wrong word. We are owners. It's just so sad. And Jack, tell everyone, how much did you spend? We paid the very fair price, I'm sure you'll agree, of 1,200 pound. Way too much money. Way too much Way money. Way too much money. I don't think we're ever gonna see that money ever again. Probably not. I don't know, what does we buy any car give you? <laughs> But driving wise, th this is the main reason why we were doing this. Yeah. Is this ugly car actually good? You tell me, Jack, I'm not driving. Well, it drives like a car. The MOT history on this is actually very clean. Oh yeah. So if you can look past the exterior and the ugly looks. <laughs> Which I'm sure many of you can't. Then it's probably very decent. And it, it goes, it moves, it's fine. Yeah. It starts all right, stops all right. Keeping up with our Skoda crew car. Yeah, it goes in a straight line. Yeah. I will say the engine in this is Quite a dated engine. Oh. No, I know oh, yeah, it's not yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. a Lipkiss. No, yeah, definitely yeah. not. Yeah. The engine was already probably pretty old before they decided yeah. to put it in this thing. And now, 20 years later, it's definitely really old. <laughs> but that's made up for by the fact that it's essentially in a Mark IV Golf. And Mark IV Golf, arguably the best Golf ever made, am I right? Really hope that you can detect the sarcasm in my voice. Oh, oh whoa! Oh, God, go on. oh my, oh my go God! On. Wow! Speed go on. Go on. is what this car's been doing. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. whoa! Wow! Uh, the engine note that I'm getting of the. Uh, <laughs> do your best impression of of a Beetle engine. Uh, no, you got too much character in yours. It has to be more like. Ah. Ah. There we go. It's all right when you're inside. Like, we don't want to be Ben and Edwin up front in the Skoda. No, just have a look at, look at this. Yeah. We, we put it fine here. It is because it is just sad. My mood yeah. Im immediately improved as soon as I got inside <laughs> of the car. Is this turning heads? Is it turning heads? Yes. Why are they all looking the opposite way? Yeah. <laughs> it isn't that it's ugly, it's that it's miserable. I think it's the eyelids. I think if you took the eyelids off it, it would transform this car. Oh, it's sagging. Headline sag. Yeah. What is this, an E36? <laughs> Am I right, guys? It's like my oldest pair of pants up there. That's fair and a lot better than your oldest pair of pants. <laughs> There's a Mark V GTI behind us. <gasps> I miss mine so much. 
This is one step closer to the golf. Wow, is this the closest I've been to a golf in ages? Since I've had my golf? This is meant to be. Within budget, yeah. what we wanted, yeah. I don't think you could get much uglier than this. I kind of hate saying that because at some point this was someone's pride and joy and they loved this it. Is true. The beauty is subjective. Beauty, unfortunately, is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, yeah. And if you built it and you thought it was lovely, then that is completely fair enough. Yeah. But I think it's probably safe to say the vast majority of people think this is heinous. Most importantly, though, I think this is a good car. I'm coming around to Beatles. I'm coming around to the Beatles. What about the Rolling Stones? Is that a good joke? That's probably a good joke. No, I think it's probably weak. <laughs> so there we have it. We think we've bought the ugliest car we could find for sale today. I think so. It's not easy. Genuinely not easy. It really isn't. We gave it yeah. a bloody good go and this is what we got. So hopefully let us know if you think we've done okay. Yeah, please. Or if we should have got the ski boot. Ski boots next, we'll get that next time. <laughs> I, I'm genuinely intrigued in the future to see if we could sort of give this more street cred than it's got. Don't want to put too much money into it because look at it. But I think there's a couple of things that we can maybe do to make this, uh, dare I say it, cool. It's screaming to be lowered, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's some nice wheels. Yeah. Get more eyelids. Tidy it up a bit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Get some eyelashes, obviously. Yeah, get some lashes. Get some maybe, hair. Maybe some eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some lips. Maybe a ball sack. Potentially. <laughs> if you want to see all that, then click here, subscribe. <laughs> if you want to watch more videos, they're down here. We're actually going to give this car to our cameraman, Ben, because he's carless at the minute, so that's punishment. And he doesn't know this yet. He doesn't know. <laughs>